Hello, I'm going to show how you can connect your API portal to Amplify Central. In order to do that, you must first create a service account in Amplify Central, which manages the communication between API portal and Amplify Central. To create it, you must use a user in Amplify platform, which has Amplify Central admin privileges, because otherwise you won't be able to create such service account. So let's open the Amplify platform, go to my capabilities and then click on Central. Here from the left side bar, click Access and then Service Accounts. This is the place in which you can manage your service accounts. Let's create a new one using this button. Let's set a name, for example, API Portal Integration. You must provide a public key. And in order to create such key, we can click on this icon and copy these two commands. If you use Unix-based OS, uh, they should work if you have OpenSSL installed. But if you, you are under Windows, you can use uh, Git Bash, because otherwise you won't be able to execute them. Okay, this is my Git Bash instance, and I created a directory named Keystore, which currently has zero files in it. Let's paste these two comments and see now the list of the directory. Okay, hey, here they are, private key and public key. Let's open the content of the public key using cat publickey.pam, click enter, and mark and copy its content. Let's go back to the platform and paste the content of the public key. We click on save and we hope that the service account will be created. Perfect. Now let's go to our API portal. I installed an API portal and configured an API manager as a primary connection. This is important. Currently, API portal doesn't support Amplify only connection. So you must have a running API manager and configure it, uh, and configure it in the portal. And let's open components API portal amplify and copy the client ID from the generated service account. It matches to this client ID column. We copy this, we paste it in this um, text box and now we must open the content of the private key as we did with the public key now we will also use the cat command uh, and we will output the private key its content we copy the content and be careful with this private key you shouldn't upload it anywhere uh, except in API portal. It is stored securely, encrypted, so you, uh, you don't need to have any um, worries about its, its persistence in the, in the platform. Let's text the connection. Perfect. And let's save. Okay. After we connected API portal to Amplify Central, we must create API catalog and applications, pages in the navigation. That's why we go to menus, main menu, and from here we can clo clone the already existing API catalog and applications pages, which by default are connected to API manager. We select these two and then we click on batch in order to simultaneously copy them in the same menu. As I said, 
copy and then I click process. Now, they must be at the bottom. Yes, here they are. I will move them slightly upper and I will click on the newly created API catalog um, menu item and I will rename it in order to distinguish it. I will call it Amplify APIs and I will change its alias to API catalog Amplify. Now, the next thing is very important. We click on API catalog and we select as a data source Amplify. This is crucial because if we leave it API Manager, it will fetch the APIs not from Amplify, but from the Manager. We select Amplify and click Save and Close. We repeat the same steps with the Applications menu. OK, Save. Alias is already used. OK, I will create, I will call it Amplify 2. Amplify APIs and I will select as a data source Amplify. Okay, let's try. Perfect. Menu item saved. As I said, we repeat the same thing with applications. I will set it Amplify Applications and as an alias I will set Amplify Apps Amplify 2 and again in the applications here is applications tab for a data source we select amplify and we save and close perfect now let's open the portal and test if everything works as expected let's sign in and here we use the credentials from api manager i created these credentials previously and uh, if it works as it is you will be successfully uh, redirected to the home page okay now let's see the list of apis and see if it matches the ones from amplify central while it is loading i will list uh, the catalog items in amplify central here we can see that we have three APIs, Swagger Pet Store, Alex Pet Store, and one WSDL API. Let's see if the list is the same. Perfect. Alex, WSDL, and Swagger Pet Store. Now let's create an app. We go to Amplify Applications and we click on Create Application. Here we set name. Uh, to this app. For example, my first Amplify portal app and we select the default team as a team and save application. The description field is not uh, mandatory so we will skip it. Now the application is created. Let's open it and let's generate an API key because in a minute we will use this API to send requests to some of the APIs. I'll click Generate. And here we have the key, which starts with A744. Perfect, A744. Now, let's go back to Amplify. And by the way, of course, you can edit and delete the application, but we will not do this during this video. Now let's open Alex Pet Store and try to send request to the API. But first, we must subscribe our application to this API. That's why we click on this subscribe button. We will set a name. For example, my first Amplify subscription from API portal and we choose our newly created app and click save of course. Uh, sorry, subscribe.
I hope we see a successful message. Perfect. And now we must see our API key in the drop down above the Swagger definition. Here it is A744. It's the same API key. Now let's send a request, for example, to this endpoint store slash inventory. Click try it out and execute. And we hope that the key was attached to the request. We can see from the curl demo A7, A744. And we can see the response from the API. Okay, so that's how we can connect our portal to Amplify. And for a summary, what we did was to create a service account in Amplify Central. Then we used the service account uh, and configure it in API portal. We created the menu items for API catalog and applications with Amplify set as a data source. And then we tested if everything worked as expected. Thank you very much for your attention. Bye.